Akanyemi Supermarket, food market, fresh produce. Train station's right there. Hilton Hotel. Where we're staying the night for a couple of hours. Where is Hakanyemi, you ask? It's in Kalio, which is central, kind of northeastern part of uh, Helsinki. We are back at Helsinki Cathedral. I think one thing, one thing that we definitely didn't notice was the stars up on the domes, which is a nice touch. And then I didn't see the statues as well up there. It's a nice cathedral, but the stairs are too condescending for us, for me to feel like we can get in. The thing we notice is these flowers that bloom. I mean, they're still colorful, very much so. In the, I mean, it's November and they're really colorful. I think they are gonna stay that way all winter, or at least they will for a while. So we came from down there, there's a Helsinki Cathedral. This is the Finnish House of Nobility. It's an event venue. It's got some nice shields and shiny stuff on the top. Information on their waterfront trail, as well as a map of the majority of the city of Helsinki. White Dot is where we are. Uh, right here is kind of the area that we went to to get to that island down there. We, I believe the sauna is up there and I stayed at, up there that night, but we stayed the night like right here. So we've checked out that area. If you see a building with the blue triangle and the orange, uh, Alexander, my brother, told me that it is for uh, like bomb shelters pretty much. And uh, so if you see those, that's where you know where you need to go. Uh, we, we're not gonna go up there again like we did last night because they open at 10 and we don't wanna wait for five minutes because we're short on time. So we're gonna check out some other stuff like the food market because we have to go up to Tampir, Tampar, Tampere, Finland. A Finnish crow. Rad. This is not free, but they have a sauna for everybody. They have a cold pool, that's pretty much the uh, Gulf of Finland's temperature. I believe that's a kid pool that's drained. And over there, we'll get closer. I don't know why, but I find this just so cool. But it's, it's a pool right on the lake, the ocean. And it's warm, because you can, we could see some steam coming off. But there are so many people here. It's such a cool little area to swim. British Fanta. It smells like Jersey Mike's in here, but they have fishnets too, so that's nice. Greek foods, alcohol, some other meats and stuff like that. I'm not gonna record much in here though because I don't feel like they'd want me to record their product. Especially since I'm not buying anything, but uh, that goes to show how old the place is, 1970. See, I'm not the only YouTuber here. But uh, seven, six euros, 90 cents, $7. Just looked too good to resist. And the spoon looks like some sort of a recycled plastic. So this again is the Esplanade, it goes all the way down. But right there's another double cheeked up woman this time with a bunch of seals. So I guess they like their naked statues. There's one more church that we weren't able to go to, it was the Tempe Liakion Kiku. Um, and it's more towards the Udi Library and the Parliament Building but we just couldn't make it up there in time. I'll try and add some stock photos if I'm able to. But it's it's a really cool church that's built into the rocks and it uses the own rocks. It's got a dome on top and then it's got like 380 some glass panels so you can look out. On the inside it's beautiful, on the outside it doesn't really look like much just because it's a bunch of rocks. But once you get in it's, it's uh, quite stunning from the pictures that I've seen. The city center, shopping center. Mm -hmm. 
trains here in Finland run by somebody named some brand named VR. Really quickly, I wanted to add that there's an app called HSL that you have to use in the Helsinki area. There's another one for the um, for the city of Tampere and other cities, I assume, but you have to use a specific app to get to purchase tickets for a day pass or um, or just um, a, a, a ticket. But they do have ones on the train. They're they're no longer coins. They're no longer money. You have to use a tap credit card, and right here, uh, you can see it in the train, and I will point it out. You can select stations, uh, the A to B, A to D, different regions. Just push the green button. They open. I'm going to guess this is their local team, but we are going to the stadium where they play uh, tonight. Tampere is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more of a smaller town, but it's a legit city. Here we have a, a river that goes through Tampere. Nice chimney tower, factory of some sort. I think that's a dam for energy. More cool people, more cool statues, carrying stuff, and uh, holding a dead pigeon. The other side of this dude is another chimney with the quite picturesque waterfall. So we literally just walked down this street. It's You get out and you go, just keep going straight, and that's where we've gone, gone to. There's a church or something. They have nice lights. And uh, a lot of their buildings are yellow or like a light blue. And then this is like their town square, I believe. But that has a fanfare for the uh, hockey game. Like I said, fan tour. All right, so right here is the fountain where the Finnish uh, national team for the juniors, the hockey team, IIHF is the hockey federation. It's like FIFA for hockey. When they won gold here in Tampere at the stadium, they jumped in this fountain all the whole team did. So that's cool. A little piece fountain. NHL video game. That right there is Tampere. It's called Old Church. It's a Lutheran church. Another cool church. I'll look it up when I'm done. On our way, just a nice picture of the village. It's a little definitely quieter once you get like five minutes out scooter wise. Reach the tower, there's the map of Tempore. Our ticket for the tower in the elevator. There's the city. It's the road that we took all the way up. So it's littered with these beautiful trees. Similar to Porvo. It has the red bark all over. Stairs up from that area. And there's also another sky deck viewing tower over there, kind of like uh, Calgary's in Canada. But uh, this is Tampere. And there's Nokia Center, way over there. Skadoosh. So we're going there for the game. A quick mention over by the Watchtower is also a little theme park with some roller coasters and stuff.
Und Dixie. Those flowers, but we're back at the bottom. Cavilla, and that's the top. Again, doesn't look huge. Another map for your viewing pleasure. And there, again, is the tower. Beautiful. So, uh, I used the ride. It was seven euros, 24 pence, cents. I was going to use the tier, it was 11 euros, some change, and uh, it was worth it because, I mean, we it probably would have been around that much, and there, there, were, there were no buses to get up there, so we would have had to walk quite a ways. But yeah, just so you know, uh, price-wise of those bikes, I liked my ride a lot more. Um, it just, they work well, and they're not too expensive. Wondering what the main markets are, it's K Supermarket, R Kioski, and an S Market. They also have little, um, R Kioski is sometimes smaller, but these things, so freaking good. The beer. I don't know much of anything about it, but uh, pause it where you want to, try and read these different labels. Now Finlayson and Co. I believe it's just another shopping center. It has a nice large building though. This is the view from the top of that little fall. Tampere Cathedral. In all its glory. Well, we are 0 for 3 on cathedrals going inside. The, uh, this one, we did have time. We waited for somebody to come and open it. And uh, he said, oh, sorry. We are rehearsing for a performance tomorrow. And it is closed to the public. So, strike three. Pretty neat school on the inside. White walls, but neat. Here. We went to the little, got a pretzel which doesn't have much salt to it. And we also got, um, I got two of these bread things with, with like cheese on it, cheese in it. It's like a potato wedge. Looks good. A picture of what that was called, don't remember what it was. It was like recce, khaki, something like that. Uh, it was good. It had like a very overdone rice in it, so it was like mush, but it had cheese on top. It was very, I liked it a lot. There was a pretzel that was just a normal pretzel. I wouldn't say it's amazing or bad, just average. Uh, back there is the Holiday Inn, which is right next to the train station, which is right there. So if you're if you have a Holiday Inn Express Rewards card, come to Tampere. Come Tampere. I forgot to mention Solavita, orange juice. Tastes like regular orange juice, but instead of pulp, they call it juice bits. Cool little fireplace looking thing. Tried their 7-Up free. Um, very bland. Doesn't have much of a 7-Up or Sprite type flavor. So I got a double cheeseburger. Alexander got a fish and chips. And then I got salad, a side salad instead of fries. A 7-Up and a water for 34 euros, which is probably like $28 or $30. Not bad for a full meal for two. The menu is all in Finnish, so I pointed at that one. She pointed at that one and said it had two two uh, patties on it. And I was like, okay, yeah, more the merrier. But it's got, uh, that, I guess that means jalapenos in Finnish. So <laughs> I'm going to have some spice. This one looked good because this one with Translate said like beer cheese. So, oh well. Turns out there's two teams. It's Ilvis, which is a Lynx, and then Tapara, which is uh, the second team. I think they're 
their mascot is an axe or their image is an axe. So yeah, two teams in Tampada. So that's a hotel with a sky deck view restaurant up there. Quite something. Russian Orthodox Church with the cross on top. Nokia Arena. They're packed. So the inside of the stadium is actually connected to a casino, which has right here, it's its own tap room. There's uh, stuff right here on the left. Inside of the arena, seats uh, I believe about 15,000. Local food, Musta Makara. It has pork, pig blood, and rye. Clarification, in the next video, uh, Kevin, a uh, guy that we met and uh, went to the game with, he's going to talk about Ethan. He's my dad. I told him just to simplify things and not have to explain my YouTube channel and all that good stuff. I just said that the video's for my dad, and so that's why he says Ethan. And then we're also Greek, so that's why he said Greek. Ligonberry sauce, go for it. Yep. Alright, here we go. Yeah, FaceTime. Oh, He's already had a bite. Hey, Ethan. What are your thoughts? I'm liking it. Musta Makara. I yep. think I'm tasting the sauce more. It's Greek for sausage. <laughs> Greek for sausage. Oh, brother. Greek for blood sausage. I'm alright with it. It has like a, it has a meaty taste to it. Like and uh, the sauce is the best part of it. The sauce, I think, is the best part. It doesn't really have much flavor. With a little bit that I'm tasting, it's like um, reminds me of kind of just like a dull sausage. Yeah.
little bonus is the barriers that pop out of the ground for the stadium. So we're on a midnight train back to Helsinki, but we have a two hour layover. So we are chilling for a little while outside, maybe for two hours. So we'll see. But uh, I forgot to say that Tampere has a Lenin museum and it's actually now the only Lenin museum about Lenin and uh, how he started technically started the Soviet Union in Tampere with Stalin and how it was initially formed and kind of invented uh, the idea of the Soviet Union was invented in Tampere so it's worth checking out uh, some friends of ours went and saw it and they really really liked it um, but we didn't have time so if you have time definitely do that so technically we've left the train station and uh, so we are now we can now say that we've been to Rihimaki in Rihamaki. Well, there's a yellow building. There's a bike sh bike storage place. And a giant sign. Uh, that's about it. There's a chimney over there. And it's uh, 2 degrees Celsius as I was in or just put out. Another building. We'll see if anything's open at uh, 1 15 in the morning. Up there, red building, Rihimaki Historical Museum. So that was a fun experience with David and I think Envy, Ilvi at Yolana or Jolene, Jolene. But uh, here it goes to show that Rihimaki is uh, definitely in the suburbs and they don't know English as well. Further out of the city you go, worse it gets. And here is a closer up view of the city. Proof that it is cold and that it is late if you can read that at all. We have reached our hotel for the next two to three hours. Hilton Inn with uh, nice, quite a few mirrors, TV, window, bed, desk, and a decent view of the city.